Man United draw in there against West Brom at the Hawthorns. One all. What's your reaction? Mine, it's not going to be very positive. And I'll be honest, it's going to sound a bit ranty. I can feel it. And I hate that word. But until Manchester United get rid of the soft underbelly that exists, that is our, our entire defence, we are never, ever going to be seriously considered anything other than just another team. There's no way that that team there with that defence, with those centre-backs, can challenge for anything. Viktor Lindelof needs to get binned off. Why is Eric Bailly not playing? I, look, maybe he's not 100% fit. Whatever. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made some decisions today that I massively disagree with. Fred and McTominay in midfield. Two defensive midfielders against uh, that West Brom team with the worst home record in the entire fucking league. No, it shouldn't happen. But Lindelof, in the second minute, yes, it was a foul. It was definitely a foul. But it, it, it shouldn't have mattered because Lindelof should have just got in the way of the cross. Lindelof is just too soft. Harry Maguire is just too soft. David De Gea put an, out, an outrageous double save there to s save Maguire from embarrassment in that game. And we can't even... It's the second Premier League game in a row where Bruno Fernandes scores an absolute worldie that is just going to get forgotten about. Because it's infuriating watching United play like this. Slow, cumbersome, lack of creativity. But it's just, I don't care about any of that. I just care about the fact that our centre-backs are so crap together. Lindelof and Maguire as a partnership is horrendous. I'm sorry. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to, needs to see that. And needs to change that. And until Manchester United have a centre-back pairing that we can rely on for every single game, we will never be able to take that step up that Bruno Fernandes is trying to bring to this team. Again, a game where largely Bruno was pretty invisible for the first 45 minutes and just pulls out an individual moment. And United are working in moments at, right now. We're, we're, we're not a cohesive team. Going forward, for the love of God, do not put Marcus Rashford on the right wing and certainly not to accommodate Anthony Martial on the left wing. Horrendous game from, uh, from Martial and he was rightly substituted. But we shouldn't be accommodating Martial and putting Rashford out of position. No, should be the other way around if anything. But I don't, as I, said, <coughs> I don't really want to talk about anything else after that game apart from our centre-backs. And I'm going to keep Banging the drum. Maybe we'll do another video specifically on it. But it's so obvious, United's weaknesses. They're so obvious that a team just has to set up to exploit them. And until you get rid of that weakness that is so easily exposed and so easily exploited game after game after game, we will never be taken seriously. As it, we won't. Because it's just too easy to get out United's weaknesses, to expose them. And teams that look West Brom, man, and Sheffield United. My word. Two of the crappiest teams you'll ever see have both taken points off United. West Brom there, they probably deserved the win in terms of the chances that they had. <clears throat> Maguire nearly won it there right at the end, and that was an outrageous save by Sam Johnson. And mate, I, but my opinion of that full 90 minutes would not have changed. Yes, the result would have changed, and we would have been able to move on and really kick on, but... It's another two points dropped. I think four of our last six Premier League games now we've dropped points. So City are running away with the league. They're going to win the league easily. And whenever you watch City and then whenever you watch United, we're so far away from that level. We are so far away from that level. And it's because I think that we, we just don't have that defence that we can rely on. We don't have the powerful centre-backs that we know can dominate the box, dominate their positions and dominate and scare opponents. They're so soft. There's, you know, I've just got the softest underbelly that anybody can easily expose. And it's, it's just pissing me off because it's game after game, the same things keep happening. And maybe nothing will change until we can, I would argue, get rid of Lindelof and bring in a new centre-back. At least one new centre-back. A lot of you would probably argue that we need two new centre-backs. Harry Maguire, man... There's a lot to dislike about that performance there from Maguire. And he nearly came up with, a, with the goal at the end that, that could have changed the narrative a little bit. But it wouldn't have changed just that whole defensive performance.
performance from our two centre-backs. That has to be the story from that game. And it's another game where United drop points. And it's just we can't even bloody enjoy Liverpool and their collapse because we're doing that a couple of days later. Uh, it's just, it's frustrating. It's painful. It's, it, it's, I thought we got rid of that um, one step forward and two steps back pattern. But we slipped back into it. The players look tired. The players aren't running. There was a real lack of energy in that game. Uh, I don't know what else to say. But I'm just pissed off at, at how... It's so easy to set up against United. It's so easy to get... I said it before the game. I said, I think Lindelof's going to get targeted. And within 90 seconds, we're 1-0 down because Lindelof got targeted. As all, that was a perfect game from West Brom in terms of what they were going for. Score early, sit deep. You know, I'd always struggle against a low block. And because we had the lack of tempo, because with a low block, I think if you stretch a, a stretch a defence and bring them from the left to the right quickly, you create spaces that the fullbacks can exploit. And we weren't moving the ball quick enough, so we couldn't do that. And we had two defensive midfielders on, so we didn't have the balls breaking the lines. And because Bruno was having an off day, we had none of those passes. But weak, weak underbelly. Poor from United centre-backs. They should be the talking point from that game. As should the referee, by the way, and I'm kind of surprised it's taken me six and a half minutes to mention that, but some of the decisions that Craig Pawson made in that. I don't think West Brom's goal should have stood. That was definitely a foul. Blowing up for the half-time whistle when we're four on two, despite the fact that against Everton, they scored in, the, what, the 96th minute. Very consistent. How was Maguire not off? Maguire was offside for the penalty that was overturned, yet it was the foul that overturned it, not the offside when it was so obviously offside. None of the decisions by the referee in that game made any real sense of him being completely honest. But what's your reaction to that match? I feel frustrated. That I'm, it feels like we're sort of banging ahead against a brick wall here because we see it every single week and we're probably going to see it next week as well. And we've got Chelsea coming up. We've got City coming up. With those centre-backs, they know exactly where our weakness is. They know exactly how to exploit it. And we're going to probably drop more points. What's your reaction? Let me know in the comments below. But... Painful to watch United sometimes, really.